so to speak. That's, it's the safety. Wow. Yeah. And that's what people maybe who don't understand naturism wouldn't understand because they'd be like, oh my God, how scary and dangerous it would be to be naked in front of other people, men and women, etc. That, but this is like, there's, a, it's the safest place. I don't worry about people touching me here. I, I do on the outside world. Like you're, you know, like you get the walk sign and everybody's crossing. Like I feel like I'm always like waiting for somebody to like grab me or something like that. But I don't feel that here. Welcome back to Explore with Ash. Today I'm at Bear Oaks. This is a naturist community just one hour away from Toronto. Uh, this is something I've always been intrigued by and I'm here to explore. Let's see how it goes. I'm super excited to go here. This is a unique experience. I've heard a lot about uh, naturism and I've been fascinated by the concept. Um, and yeah, I'm just looking forward to being naked. walk into the main office area. This is where we get registered, get all the information. When you arrive, the first step is to register yourself. To enjoy a day visit, you'll need to purchase a day pass which costs $58. If you wish to extend your stay, Bear Oaks offers various overnight accommodations to choose from. After completing your registration and payment, it's time to head to the designated area to watch a short informative video about naturism and the fantastic facilities Bear Oaks has to offer. Inside the reception area, you will also find your one-stop shop for all your conveniences and needs. With a wide range of offerings, the Bear Boutique ensures that your naturist experience is both comfortable and enjoyable. Welcome to the basement of Bear Oaks. Here you'll find a cozy oasis with lounge chairs and extended seating areas, perfect for relaxation. There's a TV for entertainment and plenty of indoor games to keep you occupied. If the weather turns out gloomy, the library boasts a vast collection of books to rescue you from your boredom. Additionally, there is a pool table and a gym for your enjoyment. It's the ultimate retreat for any day, rain or shine. I love pool, so I decided to play a game all by myself. I also threw some darts as I was alone and, you know, the darts were just there to be thrown. The basement was a bit chilly, so I decided to go to the sauna. Got the sauna. After a relaxing sauna session, I made my way to the outdoor swimming pool. The warm inviting water welcomed me, contrasting beautifully with the cool, crisp air. It was perfect way to rejuvenate and connect with the nature. It's time to go in the hot tub. So this is the hot tub. And that's the yoga that's going on in the back.
After indulging in the swimming pool and a soothing soak in the hot tub, I decided to bask in the glorious October sun. I reclined on a comfortable sun chair by the poolside, allowing the warm rays to kiss my skin. It was a precious moment to savor, knowing that in Canada, the colder days of autumn were just around the corner. After that, a staff member named Stacy decided to give me a small tour of the entire place. It was fun looking at the accommodations of people who live there, all the activities that they do, their campsites, the place where they actually have the campfires, everything was just spectacular. I chose to take a peaceful stroll along the picturesque pond, admiring the charming houses that lined its banks. The serene atmosphere and the beauty of nature all around me made for a delightful walk. I wandered down various paths, exploring the hidden gems of the park and savoring the tranquility of the moment. It was a truly refreshing experience. After a long and satisfying walk, I found myself tired and hungry. Fortunately, Bear Oaks has an in-house cafe called the Bear Bistro. I couldn't resist their amazing burgers, so I ordered a mouth-watering cheeseburger and a refreshing chilled beer. The temperature outside was scorching, but inside the cafe, I was surrounded by captivating paintings. While indulging in this delicious meal, it was a perfect way to refuel and cool down on a hot day. After my meal, I had this immense pleasure of meeting these three incredible women who were kind enough to share with me their experiences and insights into naturism and their long-standing association with Bear Oaks. Hey Stacy. Hi. How are you? I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm great as well. I'm really, really happy to be here. This is such a beautiful day to be out here and naked. Yes. Uh, and I'm loving it so far. Yeah. Uh, so you work here. Tell me, how long have you been working here? So I've been working here since May. Okay. Why here? Yeah. Why did you choose this? Like, why being a naturist? Yeah, so I, I love naturism. I've been doing naturism for a couple of years now. Um, there, As far as I know, there is nothing that can give you this experience of being your true authentic self. Um, I mean, when you're, you know, completely at one with yourself, we're not, not wearing any clothes that kind of signifies a status or, um, you know, maybe assumptions of what someone is based on how they appear. And you get to connect with human souls one-on-one -on -one just based on our skin that we live in. It is like no other way to completely let go um, and just feel true to yourself. And so that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm here is because, you know, there's there's no noise when it comes to human connection. Um, this is who I am. This is me. I'm Stacy. Um, you know, and we can just enjoy uh, the company of one another and enjoy um, being in nature and having fun and, um, you know, just. Um, you know, it's just got this wholesomeness to it that I really like. And uh, yeah, I just really enjoy, uh, you know, being here. Awesome. Wow. That's such a beautiful answer. So was it like some of your friends who actually got you into there or like you just uh, looked up and then, oh, you just found out there's something called as naturism and then I, yeah, I got think, curious. I can't exactly remember. I think it was because we were driving. It was with my partner at the time. We were driving on the highway and we saw the Bear Oak sign on the highway. 
And I feel like a lot of people, when they see that, they kind of, they don't really know exactly, well, it says Bear Oaks Naturist Family Park. And um, I think, you know, nudity and naturism, um, I like to go with the term naturism because it's a philosophy of, of life, right? It's not just taking your clothes off and running around. It is this philosophy of, um, you know, separating yourself from other um, societal, uh, you know, assumptions and social conditioning that we have been taught since we're kids. And being, you know, being without clothes is just one is a tool to do that. And so I, I believe that's how we found out. But the name of this place is because of that, that sign. And we're like, well, what is this place? And we looked it up and then that's how we found out. Wow. And what is the best thing about working here? Um, just just getting to know people, just getting to know people by their first name um, and just, yeah, just connecting with each other and um, and helping people have great experiences. Yeah. Awesome. And what do you think is a one message you would give out to someone who's actually trying to get into naturism or who's curious about it who wants to explore what would you say to them um i would say jump in you know you might get in your head a little bit about it what it might be like you know um, i think that we've been conditioned ever since we're little to that uh, our bodies are not something are something to be covered um, but you not really know, you're not going to know what it's like unless you jump in and just feel it for yourself. Because I, I, I guarantee you, when you actually walk around when the, with the wind and the sun touching your skin, you're going to know that this is very healthy and you're going to feel well doing it. Awesome. And yeah. one last question, Stacey. So Stacey before joining here, working here, and Stacey now, what is the major difference? Oh, that's a good question. Um, um... I think that um, CC then and CC now, I think, I think I feel a little bit more, I think I just feel more comfortable. I think I feel more settled. I think I feel this has given me a chance to reflect on, on what I, what I love and, and, you know, some of my needs in my life. And so I think just being here with anyone, um, it gives you time to just, to just breathe and, and to really reflect on your life. And um, I think that's very good. That's very healthy for people to do. So. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you so much, Stacey. Well, how are you? I'm great as well. Uh, I'm fascinated by this place. This is my first visit. Okay. Uh, so tell me about your experience. How long have you been a naturist? 30, 35 years. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. I'm 29. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, great. So what got you into that? Because that was a different era when you started. Today is a different era. What got you into this? I figured that if we could just be naked with each other and decent to each other why not so i looked for the naturist community in canada and i found it and it's just it's just good wow wow and have you been like regularly visiting the place or do you like live i here? have a place here actually. oh wow yes, I'm a, so i've been a member here i was a manager here uh so i've been at this park what how many 14 years i've been here yeah 14 years wow. i've been here now wow amazing that's uh, what is something that you would sort of uh, suggest or uh, say to people who are actually trying to explore or are curious about naturism in today's times what would you tell them try it at home first take off your clothes sit at your computer sit on a towel but take off your clothes sit at your computer do ordinary things around your house if you're not used to walking around in your skin vacuum do the dishes you know like i say sit at your computer sit on the couch watching tv do it naked Find out what your body feels like. And then take, you can take that next step if you're comfortable. Because if you come into a place like Bear Oaks, there are like-minded people here, you should feel comfortable. But try that first if you're not sure how that feels. Because sometimes people think, well, I can't sit at my computer naked. Why not? Exactly. And what has been the major difference like in terms of people or acceptance from back when you started and today in terms of people's mindsets? How has that changed? Naturism, naturism has been around in Canada for got to be at least 100 years now at this point. Yeah, it was underground at one point. So people, people practice like this in communities, but you had to have the secret password in order to join a community. Acceptance, now, that's a little still up in the air because people still have varying attitudes and ideas of what it means to be a nude person, to be around other nude people. Is it, an, is it erotic or is it healthy or is it wholesome or is it something that turns you on? You have to decide 
where you fit in the spectrum. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, how are you today? I'm awesome, thanks. It's a glorious day out here. It's amazing. Uh, so you are at Bear Oaks and you actually, I saw you, you are teaching yoga. Yes. So tell me a little bit about that. Like, how did that happen? Yeah. Um, well, this actually was my very first place that I ever taught. Um, this kind of was like my safe zone when I was just learning how to teach. Um, I was living and working here at the time. And so it was just kind of like friends and family. And um, it's, it's always been a place that I've taught. I teach outside of a nature's community as well with clothes on but um it's this has always been in, like since i started yoga so wow okay yeah. so how did you get into naturism at, uh, naturism at the first place um my mom actually and let me tell you when she first told me about it i thought she was looney tunes uh, <laughs> <laughs> um she was like she's always talking about the place and i was just like oh my god i was making fun of her and um but it was summer, people were around, just understanding like, oh, just people are just enjoying themselves. You know, they're playing volleyball, they're in the pool, they're having food and that kind of thing. They're just like hanging out, enjoying themselves. And it's all just peaceful and lovely. So oh, and then okay. I really loved it. And then I got a job here and then, and then it just, I've been here forever. <laughs> Perfect. So do you live here? I don't anymore. Okay. I, I have in the past. Okay. So what's the best uh, thing about the place? best thing about it. I know it's hard because there's so many but one one uh, thing that you really like love it like wow this uh, is not something that I find in, in the outside world yeah you know, so to speak. that's it's the safety wow. yeah and that's what people maybe who don't understand naturism wouldn't understand because they'd be like oh my god how scary and dangerous it would be to be naked in front of other people men and women etc that but this is like there's it's the safest place I don't worry about people touching me here I I do on the outside world. It's like you're, you know, like you get the walk sign and everybody's crossing. Like I feel like I'm always like waiting for somebody to like grab me or something like that. But I don't feel that here. Exactly. Yeah. And I know, like you said, that your mom kind of introduced you to this when you were 19. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of Nikki's out there who are 19 right now. Yeah. What would be your message to them? Ah, mm, making me think. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know this isn't mainstream. And I wish it was. I feel like as I look around that people are very divided, like it's polarizing. Some people are getting into kind of a camp of like, I don't want to care about certain things anymore. Like I don't want to, like there's lots of people like team no bra right now and like keeping it natural with the underarms and that kind of thing. And then people are like swing really far the other way with like lash extensions and, and like counting every calorie and that kind of thing that this, I, I feel like it'd be an easy transition for the folks who are like, no bras, but I feel like the other people who like feel like they need to be dressing themselves up, oh, if they could experience what it's like to see people as they actually are, instead of painted up uh, on, a, you know, some screen or a billboard and that kind of thing, that they could start to let some of that go. What an incredible gift that would be, especially at that age and not have to wait until you get to be 50s, 60s and go, oh man, I wish I'd done this earlier. So why not try it now? Wow, amazing. And lastly, since you are a yoga teacher, what's your favorite yoga asana? Oh, um, <laughs> child's pose. Awesome, perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nikki. You're welcome. This has really been a great experience so far and uh, I made some incredible people and I love the concept, I love the idea. I'm not sure if I'm ready yet to go completely be a naturist but just love the idea around it it's just fascinating it sets you free this is one place where everyone should visit at least once and see that this is an alternate life lifestyle that people are living um, it's just rewarding in so many ways because it hits home in terms of your personal confidence and yeah I think this overall is just a great experience to be in a nature's community. It is spread across a sprawling area of 50 acres. Uh, unfortunately, the owner is not here, so I could not meet him. Uh, but uh, I met the amazing staff. They are really, really wonderful. They're so warm, they're so welcoming, and they're so accepting. So truly a remarkable experience so far, and I'm loving it. 
After that, I decided to go and explore the outdoor area of the park. I also had the chance to play some volleyball with a guy named Tim. Although I didn't film our game to respect his privacy, as he wasn't comfortable being on camera, it was a memorable experience. Tim and I shared stories of our journeys and even imparted some valuable volleyball skills. It was a fun, fun experience. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I just wanted to say that this was one of the most challenging videos I've had to film for obvious reasons. Um, people come here um, just to es escape their ordinary lives, um, just as a retreat, just as an experience. Um, it was not easy to go out there in a place where everyone else is naked and, and to film there. It takes a lot of courage and confidence just to go up to those people explain to them that uh, hey I'm just doing this for a general awareness and just to make sure that people who are willing and curious to try this out realize and understand that this is a safe place and this is a safe community where everyone is uh, accepted um, but it was fun at the same time again I'm truly grateful to all the people uh, who supported me uh, especially the staff at Bear Oaks who was kind enough to let me film uh, and gave me a, a tour of the place and enough information for me to be able to make this video. Do let me know in the comments what was the best part about this video. What did you guys um, like about it and would you personally try uh, naturism? Um, I will keep bringing such unique experiences for you guys. And, um, I hope uh, you keep supporting me and do like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.